Okay, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can install Alt Store on your iPhone using a Mac. So first of all, you want to head over to your Mac and go ahead and open any web browser where you go ahead and type in altstore.io. A link to that will be in the description as well. And when you are on this website, you simply want to go ahead and uh, click on get all store right here. It will navigate you down to right here where you want to get all store Mac OS. Actually, it says uh, all server Mac OS, but uh, yeah, just go ahead and uh, click on that. When you do that, it will uh, start an alt store download. And when you go over to your downloads folder, you will see alt server right here. So just go ahead and right click on it and uh, click on open. Uh, it will warn you about the pop-up, but uh, just go ahead uh, and click on open again. When you do, you might get this notification. Uh, I personally think it's quite good to get notifications. So you can go ahead and click on options and click on allow to keep on getting notifications about the status of uh, Alt Store on your Mac. And uh, when you do that on the top here, you will see an uh, Alt Store logo. If you click on it, you will get all of these options and for install all store is the, the one that you want to do. But uh, currently you will see no devices connected in order to see your device right here. You want to connect your MacBook to your iPhone using a wire. Make sure that uh, it is a cable that actually supports data transfer because that is very important. Uh, some cables only transfer power, so they're only used for charging, but you do need to have one that transfers data as well. When you connect your phone, you might get a warning pop-up saying if you want to trust this device and uh, you definitely need to click on trust there and then it will ask you for your password. Go ahead and type that in and after that, both of your Mac and your iPhone will start to synchronize. You will know that you did everything correct if you see your device under locations right here. While we're at it, if you want your device to automatically keep on updating your apps every seven days so that they don't expire, you can go and click on your device in the finder and go ahead and turn this option on right here. Show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi. I also have this one on right here. I don't really know if that's necessary, but uh, it doesn't really make a difference. So I just keep that on. But this is the most important one. So definitely have show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi on. What that will do is that when your MacBook and your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi, it will automatically be able to uh, update your apps on All Store. Uh, it can be a bit quirky and sometimes it might not work and you might have to do it physically with a cable, but uh, if it does work, then uh, it's pretty good to give it a chance. So you might as well turn this on. And if you go over to the top right here again, now you will actually see your device name. And when you click on your name, you're going to get this pop up, which says that you need to enter an Apple ID and a password. You can use your own Apple ID here because uh, Alt Server and Alt Store is uh, very well protected and uh, it uh, will not hack into your account. But this is necessary so that you can get Alt Store working. And if you aren't comfortable with using your own Apple ID, you can create a burner one on iCloud.com. But uh, do keep in mind that uh, you do need to activate the Apple ID by uh, connecting to it with a MacBook or an iPhone. So in order to activate a new Apple ID, you can simply log out of your uh, Apple ID that you have on your phone. Go ahead and create that new Apple ID. And then after that, go ahead and sign into your existing Apple ID. Then you will have a fully activated Apple ID that you can use as a burner email for your alt server. Okay, so I entered my detail there and uh, went to click on install. It might also ask you to uh, do a two-step verification on your device, which will basically pop up with a, a six-digit code on your iPhone or any device that is connected to that Apple ID. And uh, you simply want to go ahead and uh, type that in here to verify the login. And uh, after a little bit of time, the Alt Store will start uh, downloading on your iOS device. And uh, when it is complete, it will show up on your home screen. But you will notice that uh, when you try to click on the app, you get this pop up, which says that uh, it is from an untrusted developer. And uh, you're going to need to trust this developer in order for the download to in order for you to actually be able to use the app. And in order to fix this, you're going to want to go into your settings app and from there go over to privacy and security. Then you want to head over to developer mode and go ahead and activate that. It will ask you to restart your iPhone. So just go ahead and do that. When you restart it, it might ask you again to if you want to enable developer mode. So just go ahead and do that. After that, go ahead and head to generals in your settings. Then go over to VPN and device management. From there, you're going to see your email ID under developer app. Go ahead and click on it. 
After that, it will ask you if you want to trust this user with this uh, Apple ID, then go ahead and click on trust. It will ask you once again, so we'll just go ahead and click on trust again. After that, it might want to ask you if you want to enable notifications. Once again, I recommend that you do because then you will get the updates about uh, if the apps you installed were able to refresh. Also, make sure that uh, when you go into the settings for all store, make sure that uh, background refresh is enabled for your automatic uh, app updates to be able to initiate. If you want to add an application, simply go over to my apps and uh, go ahead and click on the plus on the top. From here, you can choose any IPA file that you want and go ahead and uh, sideload it to your iPhone. Really hope this uh, video helped you out.